Now, Jeff, I do want to go back in time, uh, if I may, and look over a couple of things, starting with the Hearing Aid Project from 85. I guess back then you would have been around 25, 26 years old. Was that, what was that experience like? And am I correct in assuming Ronnie James Dio had invited you to be a part of it all? Yeah, well, Ronnie Dio was really influential uh, with uh, me and, and with Queensryche in general and uh, invited us on our first ever European tour and uh, she really showed us uh, a lot of uh, you know how how to be on the road and how to survive on the road and, and uh, some pretty valuable lessons. And then uh, after the tour, um, I got a call and he invited me to participate in the hearing aid project, and which I readily accepted. And uh, well, we all met up in Los Angeles at uh, I think it's A&M Studios, and. Uh, the I walked in to do my part, and Ronnie was in the control room and, and invited me in, and uh, you know, shook my hand and hey, welcome, you know, this is great, and here's the track. And um, I didn't really spend much time in the control room because he was under a time limit. And he, he walked me out to a, a performance room, and uh, we set up the microphone and got my headphone mix going. And then uh, he goes, "I'll yeah, I'll be in the control room, and just let's have a go at it and see what happens." and I said, sure, and I happened to look up and through the glass and I could see all these amazing musicians and singers in the control room watching me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so people like Rob, Rob Halford was there and, and uh, Eric Bloom from Boyce of Cult and uh, uh, Ted Dugent and uh, all these really accomplished players and singers. And so there I was under the microscope, <laughs> so to speak. And I was really scared. Uh, it was it was a petrifying moment, really. So I just kept my sunglasses on, closed my eyes, and let it rip, you know? 